Okay, so I'm going to be looking at building Pac-Man World using Kodu Game Lab today. So, uh, I'm going to start off with Blank World. So I'm going to go Load World and look for the new Empty World and, and uh, go into that one. Okay, so I'm going to go into Edit Mode. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a character. Um, this is just for an idea of size so I know how big my world is going to be. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is then add the main board where we're going to play. So I'm going to go into the ground brush, uh, pick a material. So I'm going to pick uh, this blue material for the outside and I'm going to pick a, a black one for the inside for the floor. Okay, and I'm going to tilt the world so I'm looking at it from the top down because that's how we view Pac-Man. And make this board a bit bigger. Maybe that big. And I'm going to add some ground. There's some ground. Okay, and then I'm going to change the material to another pattern. Make the brush a bit smaller and uh, do change ground color. Then change back. Make the ground smaller. Change the ground color and so on and so forth. Okay, the reason I'm doing it this way uh, rather than using the line tool is that it's a lot easier to get all the lines to match up this way because what you can see that we're going to do is uh, we're going to build this and then uh, build it as a set of squares and then erase some of the walls uh, to make access routes. So lastly, we'll go chain back so we've got a place for the ghosts. So then what I'm going to do is just using the brush uh, and keeping on the black tool, I'm just going to open up some of the roots. Now you need to, this is where the ghosts start, but you need to have quite an open area because, uh, because they're programmed using the wander tool. If this is too enclosed, they won't actually get out onto the playing board and it won't be any fun. So... Let's open some of these up here. So, you just go through with a square brush and do change ground color to get rid of your uh, your access routes there. Okay, so once I've done with that, I want to uh, make it so that the walls are higher than the floor because uh, otherwise all of my ghosts and my characters will just go over the top of these walls and I want them to go under. I want them to be stopped by the walls. So I'm going to go into the up down tool, okay? Make my, br uh, make my brush really big so that it covers the whole of my board and I'm going to raise it. There you go, you can see that I've raised a bit, okay? And now I'm going to go into the brush picker. And if you've used if you've used Adobe Photoshop or anything like that, you'll know about the magic wand tool, which selects uh, colors of the same thing. Now the same things here, magic brush. So if I select this and then lower the floor, then you can see here that I've got uh, I've got a map or a world with walls and stuff like that. Right. Okay, so I've done that. The next thing I want to do is start to uh, add my apples. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of him. So I don't need him now. So go to edit and I'm just going to cut him. There you go. Brilliant. And I'm going to zoom in a touch. That's it. And look top down. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add apples. So uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to start up here. I'm going to add. Yeah. An apple, a red apple. I might make this a little bigger because it's they're quite small. The apples here. Okay, and rather than go and do that over and over again, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select cut. You can see that on the left. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm going to paste it. Go along a bit, paste. Go along a bit, paste, and go around and do that for the entire board. There you go. So you can see that we've added all of the apples now. Now, if you look at the thermometer on the right-hand side, you can notice that it's 
uh, a lot more full than it was when we started. So every time you add an object, it contributes to the thermometer on the right hand side. Now, the higher the thermometer is, the harder Kodu has to work to generate that world. If it gets very full, then it can mean that uh, it performance might be a little bit sluggish. So the next thing I want to do is add my power pills, my Pac-Man power pills. And again, I'm going to use an apple for this. But this time I'm going to use a green apple. So I add the apple and then I just change color at the top. And I'm going to make them a bit bigger so that they can stand out a bit. Uh, and then I'm going to copy it and paste it, paste it, paste it and paste it okay so this is our uh, game board that we're going to be using for our pac-man clone uh, so what you'd want to do now is save my world and give it a name and save it And that's the end of this first tutorial, so make sure that you will go on to the next tutorial on uh, adding characters.